in the last four days, the conversations I've had probably amount to a year's worth of conversations I would have at home. It's just the varied people from Brazil, from Canada, from India, from Ivory Coast, from Uganda. It's great. I'm really looking forward to the uh, translation slam or the literary death match. Spoken word is becoming a big thing back home. Here there's something a little bit different, but I think the live performances have to do with a live literature. What people keep saying to me is they love the 6x8 presentations. There's a very democratic approach to this. Everyone has eight minutes. Everyone's been allowed to use as many or as few props as they would like. Um, so it means that all the delegates who've come here can talk about what they do on a totally equal platform with everybody else. And it certainly taught me a huge amount. We have a chance of being part of a global large network of literature and it's so good to the point that I think this is an idea that should be replicated around the world, you know, there should be showcases in Japan, in Mexico, you name it. For the international delegates who are here, we wanted them to see exciting new writers and to meet people from the UK who are working in interesting ways with readers and writers. For the writers who appear from the UK, we wanted them to see both UK festival directors and programmers as well as the international delegates and for then invitations to arise for the writers to both to travel internationally and to work more nationally. It's, it is about the global conversation and that the best work is done across borders, whether it's through translation or multiple organizations or just sharing best practice. You know, I'm a fiction writer myself and I have usually keep track of what's going on in the world of novels, but uh, uh, I've kind of fallen away from poetry a little bit. You can't keep up with everything. So to hear fantastic verse by Hannah Lowe, Kai Miller, uh, Tom Warner, Lavinia Greenlaw was a, a great surprise to me. Then you had um, Adam Sowa, who was you know, just working in translation because he was an enthusiast. It's great. I mean, just those range of views are, were, were very helpful and made me write down lots of things. I don't know what I'm going to do with, but I've written them all down. <laughs> the young writers are very interesting and I'm looking forward to getting the books and, and reading some of those books. Get uh, within a span of two or three days to sample uh, so many different writers that uh, you can take away a little reading list if you like. There were two uh, writers, prose writers. I. I think I will have uh, German publishers for them. It's always expansive. The broader, the better. And I just, I remember calling up a colleague just on, I think the day after I got here, probably after Saturday session, and it was the middle of the night, and I just like, there is so much we need to do.